Hey guys, I'm Evan Griggs with Minnesota Trout Unlimited. We are crazy about fish here at the Trout in the Classroom program, and we are so excited to teach you more about them. Did you know that Minnesota has 1,023 species of fish? How many of them do you know? In this video, we'll show you some of Minnesota's most popular fish species. This is gonna get finteresting. First up is the sunfish family. If you've ever gone fishing before in Minnesota, you've probably caught a sunfish. There are many species in the sunfish family that can be found all over Minnesota. Let's start with the most common sunfish, the bluegill. They have round, disc-shaped bodies with spiky fins on their backs and stomachs. They are easily recognized by the blue dot on their gills. Their tall, narrow body helps them swim fast and make quick turns to escape predators. They often school together, giving themselves safety in numbers. Bluegills usually eat aquatic insects or small minnows, but they aren't the smartest fish and will try to eat just about anything. Bass are like the supercharged cousins to bluegills. The two most popular bass species in Minnesota are largemouth and smallmouth bass. They both have football-shaped bodies packed with muscles. You might think they also have large teeth to fill their big mouths, but actually their teeth are very small and more like strips of sandpaper. You can tell them apart by looking at where their mouth stops when it's closed. A large mouth's will end past their eye, and the small mouth's ends at the eye. Largemouth bass primarily live in our lakes and like hiding in the weeds waiting for minnows and frogs to swim by. They use their mega mandible to swallow prey whole. Smallmouth bass can be found in many rivers throughout Minnesota, as well as clean northern lakes. Their mouth isn't super small, but it is slightly smaller than their cousins. This doesn't impede their predatory abilities, however. They like to live near rocks and sunken logs, and primarily munch on crayfish and other small fish. Smallmouth are claimed to be the hardest fighting fish for their size in fresh water. The most famous member of the perch family is in fact Minnesota's state fish. Can you name it? It's the walleye! No, they don't have walls for eyes, but they do have eyes that are adapted for hunting at night and in the dark depths of our lakes and rivers. They primarily eat minnows and leeches. Catfish are probably the most recognizable fish of all thanks to their whiskers. Some people think that these whiskers will sting you. These whiskers are called barbels and help the fish feel and smell its way through dark muddy waters. They have torpedo shaped bodies and flat heads to help them swim up current on the river bottoms. They prefer to live in muddy lakes and rivers, eating whatever they can find on the bottom. They, along with members of the salmon family, also have a mysterious fin that other freshwater fish don't. It's called the adipose fin, and to this day scientists don't know why they have it or how it helps the fish. This is the top of the food chain, the apex predators, the meanest, most savage fish family in fresh water, the pike family. Pike are super aggressive and will eat other fish, frogs, snakes, small mammals, and even birds. Young small pike will routinely attack prey that is the same size as they are. They have a dark green body with white spots to help them camouflage. Pike are found in Minnesota's lakes and rivers. The pike's cousin, the muskie, is a huge, solitary ambush predator. They have light green bodies with tiger stripes. They can grow to be almost 5 feet long and weigh over 45 pounds. Fishermen call them the fish of 10,000 casts because they are so smart and hard to catch. Like pike, they have long snake-like bodies that allow them to make powerful fast attacks. They have up to 700 razor-sharp teeth. In other words, these fish can seriously mess up their prey. We have three species of stream trout in Minnesota, brook, brown, and rainbow. All trout have torpedo-shaped bodies and soft fins to help them swim through rapids. Brook trout are native to Minnesota. 
They don't grow very large, usually just 6 to 8 inches long, but are considered to be the most beautiful trout with their bright red fins and colorful spots. They need super clean and cold water to survive. They mainly eat aquatic insects and small minnows. Brown trout were brought to Minnesota in the late 1800s by settlers from Europe. Brown trout are one of the most commonly found trout in Minnesota. You can identify them with their golden brown sides and dark spots. They still need cold and clean water, but can tolerate slightly higher levels of pollution than brook trout, so they can survive in more areas. These trout can grow very large and will eat insects, minnows, small mammals, and even other trout. Rainbow trout were brought to Minnesota from the western U.S. and Pacific coast. They got their name from the bright pink stripe that's on their sides. Rainbow trout only reproduce naturally in the streams that flow into Lake Superior. Those rainbows are called steelhead and can grow to large sizes. The DNR stocks rainbows in lakes and streams throughout Minnesota as well. The DNR does this to help sustain trout populations. Well everyone, we've reached the end of our video. Hope you're feeling a bit more sophisticated now. Here's some food for thought. How many different Minnesota fish species do you know? Can you identify different fish species based on their anatomy or adaptations? What are some fish adaptations you can think of? And how do they help the fish survive in their habitat? All right, I'm gonna get trout of here. Let me know if you have any questions. You've been a fantastic audience. I'll catch you later. Boy, I should really scale back on the fish stick. Thanks, everybody.